Speaker, and I want to thank my friend from Florida for yielding time. Uh, Mr. Speaker, there is no greater priority for the federal government than the defense of our nation. And the defense authorization bill is a vehicle for setting mil mil military priorities for our country. But this bill also has jurisdiction over the nation's defense nuclear waste cleanup program administered by the Department of Energy. The environmental management program within the department is responsible for cleaning up the wastes of our nation's nuclear weapons production sites. Production sites, like Hanford in my district, that secured our nation's victory in World War II and in the Cold War. As a result of that work, these sites, these sites are now contaminated with massive volumes of radioactive and hazardous waste. The federal government has a legal obligation to clean up these sites. As this bill, Mr. Speaker, has moved through the process, there have been several proposals by both Democrats and Republicans to boost specific military projects by reducing the authorization for nuclear waste funding. Mr. Speaker, let's be clear on what these proposals are really about. It's about setting our nation's defense priorities and not a judgment on the merits of cleaning up our nuclear waste sites. The nuclear cleanup program is being used as a piggy bank for these priorities since, Mr. Speaker, it's the only sizable source of funds within this bill that doesn't directly fund our troops or equipment. Now, Mr. Speaker, I know why nuclear cleanup is being used by both parties as a piggy bank. I absolutely don't support those actions and I will vote against those actions. But in doing so, I want to be clear that it is in the appropriations process where cleanup money becomes real. Insufficient funding in the appropriation process would have real and serious consequences on cleaning up these sites. The cleanup program simply cannot sustain continued appropriation reductions without jeopardizing progress, breaking legally binding commitments to states, and increasing long-term costs to taxpayers. Mr. Speaker, for 15 years I've worked in a bipartisan way to raise awareness of the federal government's cleanup obligation and to remind my colleagues, again, that the effort at these sites help us win both World War II and the Cold War. I will continue to stand up for cleanup where needed. In doing so, I am determined that the effort to promote cleanup be a bipartisan effort. And with that, I thank my friend from Florida for yielding, and I yield back the balance of my time. Gentleman yields back. Gentlewoman from